Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Grim Dawn character. Uh, so currently we are in the Elite difficulty and we're about to finish up Act 2 currently on our character. Everything is going super well, uh, super smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on right in and then I'll show you guys my gear and everything afterwards. So this is a Cronley's hideout. This guy's actually pretty tanky. Okay, let's get back. He actually does it. Wow, this guy does a ton of damage, dude. They did good on their act bosses. Let me go back here. Alright, he's down. That still wasn't too bad. That's actually the first time I've lost a minion in like the past two hours. Uh, nothing too good, unfortunately. Second time, no lies. There was that, that one time... Oh, this is really good. This might be an upgrade, potentially. We lost them to something... What was it? Some random thing right when we started, and then that was, like, about it. Okay, so just to go over a few things for you guys so you can see. That one time at Van Cam. Everything has just been self-found on the character so far, so to go over the legendaries, I'm using Fiend Flesh Greaves, which are actually coincidentally insane for our build. I've also got Venomancer's Rainmint, which dropped, which is actually not too bad because it gives Venomancer's Aura, which I'm currently running, which gives them flat uh, acid damage, which is okay, uh, because it's, it basically gets modified off of all your minion damage, so I've got like 506%, so overall it's not too bad. I switched out my old relic for the new one that you can craft called Hysteria, and that gives me Mr. Krabby right here, who does more damage than a skeleton. Or actually, I don't remember which relic I had in the YouTube video. Um, just to go over the rest of my gear really fast if you guys want to see it. Uh, it's nothing too special. I'm just going to go over it so you guys can screenshot it. Now, in terms of my stat allocation... Um, Majority of it is going into Physique. However, you do want to put a few points into Spirit. Potentially, uh, that obviously depends on, you know, really what it is that you want to get. But Physique should be your primary stat scaling. Um, and then secondary being Spirit. And I guess even Cunning if you want Cunning for something. Let's go ahead and go through here. So, in terms of our skills, I'm just going to show you what we have. Now, I'm actually debating on dropping a lot of occultists here and dropping like all the way down to like Blood of Dreg and then going into Necro and like filling out Master of Death and grabbing Soul Harvest. But as of right now, I'm just going to keep it because it's working out pretty well. Um, the minions have been like super tanky. The only thing they've ever had an issue with, I guess, was Aether damage there because I don't really have much Aether res except for the Aether Ward Aura, but when we get Throne, we should get some more Aether Res for the minions, which will be really nice. Um, let me just show you guys how it normally would clear, because I feel like that boss was a, a bad representation of how the build really works. In terms of our Devotions, I'll pull them up in a second for you guys. We have Lion as a filler. I'm actually getting rid of this right now. So I've got Panther, Ulo. I'm debating on dropping Ulo. I don't know yet, so... Panther, Ulo, Staff of Ratosh, Behemoth, Bismal Binds, or Bismal Bonds, um, Crane, or sorry, Crook, and Scorpion. Skeletons are on Scorpion Sting. I've got uh, my right click, which is Bone Harvest here with Bismal Command, because we're going to have to be spamming this for one of our buffs later anyway. I've got Giant's Blood with Bonds of Bismal, and then I currently have. Cleansing Waters on Ulo with uh, Siphon Soul, which is like kind of really weird. Uh, I'm still debating if I'm even keeping it. Now, one cool thing to note is that 
there are pretty okay augments for minions. I haven't seen too much of them, but if you want to see the augments that are on my weapons, I've got 3% offensive ability and 6% attack speed on both of them. Uh, this one you have to scroll down for. And it kind of like puts your minions on steroids when you get everything combined, which is like super crazy. Also, there is a potion you can get. I don't remember exactly actually where I bought them from, but it's super good for like elites and bossing called Wrath of the Beast Tincture. And it gives 100% increase all damage and crit damage to your pets. And a lot of Necromancer is minion crit because it scales with offensive ability. And Blood of Dread gives them flat offensive ability, which is very good. Alright guys, that's pretty much about it though. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of updates so I don't leave you hanging. Feel free to ask anything that you would like. Remember, this is just a progress video though, so... Um, you know, I'm not really gonna be stating what best in slot gear is, like, ever. Because, I don't know, when, when we get to that point, I can bring it up. Ow, it feels poison and acid res, man. <laughs> so, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.